is meteorologist Claire Fry with your first alert forecast. It's nice to see you this Tuesday evening. Thanks for tuning in with us for looking at your first alert forecast, starting off with some data compiled between 1991 and 2020 of when to expect the latest freeze for Wilmington. Now, next few days, definitely not expecting to see those lower temperatures, if not throughout the end of February. And that's all thanks to the upper level ridge building into the area above average temperatures continuing as we head to the first couple of days of March. Now, inland zones can get a little bit cooler by a couple of degrees. So looking like that umbrella is going to be more toward later March and early April. Now, next few days going to be milder into tonight after making it our way to the middle and upper 70s. Lower, excuse me, low is going to be sitting in the middle and upper 50. Stray sprinkle, isolated fog possible. So make sure you have those low beams on while driving tonight and also into tomorrow morning. Wednesday forecasts and lots of sunshine. Once again, a couple of pesky clouds with highs back in the upper 70s and lower 80s. Mainland high is going to warm up just a bit back into the lower 80s. Possible coast, though, thanks to those cooler water temperatures and those southwesterly breezes, only expected to make it into the lower and middle 70s. Our about our forecast being today at 6 o'clock clock of temperatures seeing that southwesterly flow into the area bringing in that much warmer air lower 70s for the next few hours before we start to cool off into tomorrow morning still going to need the jacket but not so much as we head throughout the day starting off in the 60s and warming up into the upper 70s and lower 80s going to be a warm one record challenging for Wednesday and also for your Thursday now in terms of what you can expect skies to look like lots of sunshine and that's all thanks to high pressure building into the area Stray sprinkle is possible, however, still expecting lots of dry time as we continue throughout the next couple of days. Composite radar and satellite loop through the last six hours. Couple of clouds and a little bit of moisture just right here in South Carolina. Again, could see a stray sprinkle, but more than likely remaining dry heading into tonight. Taking you right outside from our West Shore home. First alert, Sky Cam in Wrightsville Beach. Gorgeous view along the coast with temperatures not too bad either for an evening walk in the lower 70s here at 518 with wind still out of the southwest. A little bit breezy. You might have to hold on to the hat 15 to 20 miles per hour. Temps right now are currently sitting in the 70s. A little bit cooler, as I said, along the coast. 64 there in Oak Island, 77 in Wilmington, which did creep up to 79 today, and we're expecting even more warmth on the way for Wednesday and Thursday. And look how close we are to those records. Forecast highs of 80 and 83, with records being 81 and 82. Looks like we are going to exceed that record as of right now, if that sunshine does stay in the forecast. But changes are coming, especially for Friday night, going from the middle 70s back down into the upper 50s. And that's all thanks to that dry cold front moving into the area, bringing in widespread air that is going to be much cooler and also those shower chances. Now temperatures will rebound as we head into Sunday and next week back into the lower and middle 70s. Fran. All right, Claire.